Good evening. Well, it's not quite evening. It's sort of late afternoon. Louise here. I'm just reclining on my sofa with a nice half pint mug of water with lemon oil in it, which is all lovely for my system, cleansing it and all the rest of it. And it makes it taste really good too. And I've just been musing on some things I've been learning recently. So I'm an intuitive coach, right? I coach people and I use my intuition. So um, the things, so, so in my work, we look at those things. I look at those things people would love to create in their lives. You know, what, what is it that they would love to be doing? What is it they would love to create? What is their ideal life, etc. And then we look at, okay, so what is it that gets in the way of that, which is generally um, unconscious beliefs that we hold unconsciously. <laughs> so, so unconscious beliefs are really uh, things that um, have been installed, let's say, in our hard wiring, in our, in our program, uh, generally from infancy or very early childhood that affect us for our whole lives, okay? And so I've always worked with people, you know, on the premise that, you know, when you uncover uh, what your unconscious beliefs are and you, and you bring what is um, unconscious into the conscious mind, and once you're aware of that, then it's easier to um, create what you want. Because when those little voices come up in your head that say, no, we can't do it because of this, because of that, then you kind of think, no, actually, I know that you are just the voice of my unconscious beliefs and I'm not going to go there, right? However, in my own, I mean, I understand all that. I get it. I love it. And I have had. Uh, some moderate success, let's say, in, in my own life in dealing with um, those unconscious beliefs. And I have, you know, created some amazing things in the last 10 years or so and that I've been very happy about. Uh, but still, I haven't achieved the level of... I haven't achieved the level of achievement that I actually would have liked personally. And recently, through um, something else that I've learned, um, well, what I, what I've learned recently is is a new new terminology um, for these unconscious beliefs, which is basically unconscious desires, which throws a completely different spin on the whole thing. When it's an unconscious desire, it means that you, if you look around at everything you've got in your life or everything you haven't got in your life, that is all a reflection of an unconscious desire. So an unconscious belief is like, it, it to me, it, it, it was always very cool. I, I kind of understood it, but when I call it an unconscious desire, it makes it more powerful and it makes it more understandable as to why it is so uh, challenging for us to go against those voices in your head, those gremlins in your mind, that when you, when you get this idea of something that you would love to create, and, and that voice of truth goes off and you go, wow, this is what I want to do. And then immediately the voices of those gremlins come up. They, they pop up their little ugly heads and they go, oh, no, 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 that's not safe. We can't do that. It's not, it's not possible. Blah, 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 blah. And what we end up doing is talking ourselves out of it because those little voices repeat. They go on and on and on. They don't just come come up once and then bugger off. <laughs> they come up again and again and again and again. 
It's like bloody Groundhog Day. It's like being on a hamster's wheel, you know, just goes round and round and round and round. And what we do because of that is we manage to talk ourselves out of it. And we don't do it because of our health, because of circumstances, because of a husband might not like it, or our mother and father might not like it, or our partner or whatever might not like it, or, you know, our children might not, do you know what I mean? There's a million reasons you can give yourself why you haven't done the thing that you really want to do. A million. And those voices are just coming from a place of when we were little, we were wounded. And, and, and in order to not be wounded, we talk ourselves out of going for things that are true for us, that we hold in our hearts as important. We talk ourselves out of it because when we were little and open and vulnerable and, and you know, enthralled with the world and, and completely in our hearts, something's happened that's gone boom. And we close off and we go, no, we're not going there again. We're not going to be hurt by that again. No, no fucking way. You know, I'm going to go there and let that happen. And I understood that from the point of view of unconscious beliefs. Yes, it's a belief I hold. But when I call it an unconscious desire, it's like, oh my fucking God, it makes so much more sense. It makes, it makes me go, oh, if it's an unconscious desire that's overriding my heart's desire, that's no good, is it? <laughs> it's no good. When, it, when you call it an unconscious desire, you realise how much more power that holds. If I call it, that's what it is. It's like when I call it an unconscious belief, it's like, oh yeah, it's an unconscious belief. But when I call it an unconscious desire, it's like, oh, it's powerful. It is actually powerful. It's a powerful unconscious belief. Excuse me, I've got an itchy nose. I'm not picking it. <laughs> it's itchy. It's powerful. An unconscious desire. So basically, you can tell what your unconscious desires are from just looking around you in your life to see what you've got and what you haven't got. For me, you know, I look at my house I'm in, I'm renting a house, I don't own it. I would love to have my own house, but I don't have it. So my unconscious desire is not to have my own house. I'm not in a relationship. I would love to be in a relationship in my heart. But my unconscious desire is not to go there again, not to be hurt anymore, not to have that happen to me. It's magic. It's, you know, it's like you. I look around at everything. I've got an old car. Of course, self-conscious mind says, I'd love a new car. My unconscious desire is I want an old car because that reflects to me my lack of worth that, that, that is actually buried within me, my own lack of self-worth. It's just, just like, ooh, I'm looking around at everything I've got in my life and going, or haven't got, and going, okay, this kind of has been a little mini revelation for me and has made me go bloody blimey, you know. It's uh, so much simpler uh, and less complicated than calling it an unconscious belief. It makes it feel more real to me. So I just wanted to share that, you know, just look around in your life at what you've got and what you haven't got. And all the shit that you haven't, that you have got, that in your self-conscious mind you don't really want, what you've got to do is accept the fact that that is actually an unconscious belief. And what are you going to do about it? 
What are you going to do about that unconscious belief? How are you going to neutralize it? How are you going to heal it? How are you going to, you know, overcome that unconscious desire? And I think the way we overcome that unconscious desire is by being able to listen to that truth when it comes to you. When the truth of what you want comes to you in the form of intuition is to not just brush it aside and go, oh, <laughs> can't do that. Fuck. Let's be stupid. If, if, you know, pff, I'm not doing that. I haven't got enough this. I haven't got enough that. I haven't got enough money. I haven't got enough time. People won't like it. Friends and family, whatever it is. All those reasons, I've got too much else to do. When you get that quiet voice of intuition that goes, this is what I'd like to do, and you get that kind of inspiration, hang on to that. That's what I'm going to try and do anyway. So I'll let you know how I go. <laughs> And I coach people in this, you know, I coach people to help them change their lives and they do and they do really extraordinary and lovely things. And so do I, but I want to take it to the next level, you know, I want to up my game. And I'd love other people to kind of jump onto that and up their game too. So anyway, yeah, that's me for the moment. Uh, please like and share my video if you like it. <laughs> if you don't, nothing much I can do about that. And uh, my website is uh, louisekennedycoaching.com if you want to have a look at, at what I get up to. Um, and yeah, I'll leave some links and whatnot below. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. Take care and lots of love. Bye.